Brooke, you qualified individually for the NCAA. How excited are you to get down there and compete on beam? I'm so excited to have this opportunity to just go down there and just do what I've been doing all year and to get to represent Missouri is incredible. And the fact that it's my last one ever just makes it that more special. You had a 9875 on the beam down in the regional NCA meet, which is your highest um, all year. How excited are you to just kind of use that momentum heading into NCAAs down in Texas? I felt really confident in that routine before the routine, during the routine, and after the routine. And all season, I, I've thought about, I just want to, like, I want to end my last meet on a really good routine. And I did that. And I remember after I stuck the landing, I it was just this rush of happiness. So I was just happy with myself to be able to do that on what I thought was going to be my last routine. The moment that you found out that you individually qualified, what was that moment like for you? What were those emotions like? It was crazy. I That night, I thought that was my last routine. And then the next day, Shannon was like, hey, you're probably going to go to nationals on beam. And I was like, what? I The night before, like I already cried about it. I was like, dang, like this is really it. And then to try to switch my switch my mindset around, it was crazy, but I'm so happy it happened like this. You're just one of 10 in program history to go, the first to go since 2016. What does it mean to you to be able to go and represent the University of Missouri and have one last chance out there in the black and gold? I just feel so honored that I get to represent my school, represent the state. Um, I've never been to nationals before, so it's gonna be such an amazing experience. and. To end my career like this is amazing. I wouldn't have wanted anything any other way. NCAAs are in Fort Worth, Texas. How do you manage those nerves with it being the first time going and being the only one there for Missouri? I think it helps that we've been there before, um, earlier in the year. Also, this is my fourth year, so it should be nothing new to me. Like, <laughs> I should know what I'm doing at this point. Um, but. To, to be down there with all my coaches and trainers and just all my teammates back home supporting me, is it's an amazing feeling. You'll be competing in the first rotation behind LSU, a familiar team. How does that maybe help you um, being kind of paired up with an SEC school? I'm glad it was an SEC school and um, I've gotten to compete with them the past four years and they're a strong team and they have some really good competitors so I, I'm really happy that I get to rotate with them and when I'm not going on an event I get to cheer them on. And all three of your coaches get to go and your trainer. How you know maybe calming is that you know having those familiar faces there? I'm really glad they're coming with me just so everything can stay the same and the amount of support that I've felt from everyone is incredible and I'm just so thankful for all the people that have helped me along the way and to get to this point. I wouldn't be here without any of them. And lastly, like you said, you know, you thought at the regional meet that that was going to be your last time competing, but to have one more go around, you know, what are you hoping to be able to um, do at, at NCAAs? I just want to be able to do my best and do what I've been doing all year and um, to not overthink it because I tend to do that a lot, <laughs> but um, to just enjoy the moment because this really is like my last time. And, all the gymnastics that I've done the past years, like it, it all comes down to this point. So I just want to be able to enjoy it and soak it all in. Presented by MU Healthcare, Mid-Missouri's only academic health center, where yes finds a way.